Oh shoot. Okay, let's just, where'd it, where'd it go? Layla, you're blocking. Oh, oh it was on DIY, girl. <laughs> Did everybody see that? Okay, that was DIY. <laughs> what are we doing? DIY. And how are we doing it? By ourselves. What are we doing? DIY. And how are we doing it? By ourselves. Um, can I get a little help with this? No, you can't get help. It's do it yourself. give it a little transformation because my kids are pretty rough and they already started to uh, rip apart the thing here. So this is what it looks like before. Ripped up chairs. Bottoms are still in good condition. But yeah, so we're gonna take this and we're going to change it up. And voila, we have an empty frame. All right, so we'll use the old tabletop cardboard piece just to mark exactly where to cut so we don't have to do any measurements really. And that's our cut line. I'm setting the depth of the blade. using the, the chamfer bit okay you always want to test out what finish you're gonna have before you do it on your actual cut just in case you didn't like it so i'm gonna start in the middle and i'm gonna work my way to this corner mm -hmm. and then i'm gonna go with the spin of the router uh -huh. on this way coming this way got it all right Give it All right, so we're switching to this uh, flush trim bit. Round out this corner right here. And we're running it on the cardboard. Yeah, so that we can see how much of it to do. Now we're switching back to the previous bit that we were using so that we can round off the top part here. And now just taking this little file just to smooth things out a bit. Now we're gonna work on these chairs a little bit. We're gonna be taking 240 grit and just uh, rough these up a little bit before we uh, do the spray painting. Now taking a thinner piece of wood that we got from the little hobby section in the local hardware store, we're putting some tape down and some super glue so that we can adhere the uh, template uh, from the cardboard um, just to make it a little bit more secure when working with the router since it's such a thin piece. So we're going to take uh, 40 grit, if you can hear me, and sand, hand sand it around the curves and then take the palm sander everywhere else. Be a little bit easier for the router to handle. The cardboard was really thin, so it was 
it's hard for that bit to get around, but it should be a lot better. All right, now back to the chairs. I'm just gonna lightly sand uh, any spots that have some overspray that created a little bit of drip so that it looks nice and smooth. We are gonna be using this bit right here, the gooving bit. 90 degree, half an inch, is that what it says? Groove with me, baby. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we're gonna use to uh, do the, these little things right here. Their little name. So Doug's just going over the line so he can see it a little better. All right, so that, so the outline is done. Um, the idea is these parts right here in the middle, we're gonna go in uh, deeper and carve it out. But so this is the first step finished. All right, so that's not looking too hot. So we'll try something else. Okay, so we're just gonna go with just like one even surface all the way through like that. And then I'm just gonna go in here and fix it with the Dremel a little bit on the edges and sand it up. But yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just go in and clean up the edges. So let's do that now. And now we're just gonna give them a warm little bath. Now we have this on the back side, the wet wood, and it clamped down so it can start to get its little curve. All right, well, since these seats were ruined we're going to take some fabric that I had uh, that I reupholstered my piano bench and bar stools with in the house. Um, so that'll be cool to add to this table. So if the kids do have their table out, it'll match with the rest of the stuff. So we're gonna, I already kind of pre-cut the little fabric off to fit this. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this down. And a little too zoomed in here. And then I'm just gonna pull the fabric around and staple it. So. But I got a tight fit, thin cushion, now we just gotta do this one more time. So now that we have both seats finished, we're going to spray a little bit of this, um, what is it? Scotch Guard Fabric Water Shield on it so that if the kids spill anything, it just rolls right on. Yeah. Vapor harmful. Maybe I'll yeah. that later. So we are going to put these cushions back onto the chair. So let's do that. Let's do that, why don't we? These came out perfect. As you can see, we bent it over the thing. And if you put it right on here, it was bent just right. Boom. Yes. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put some stain on this. We are ready to go ahead and put these on so that it'll keep its bow, because we left it out the other day and, um, it started to go back the other way, so we want to get these screwed in and set. We're going to place the clamps. I 
I painted the chairs using some acrylic paint that I already had on hand and I did the other chair off camera. And there you have it, a finished looking table. I went with navy and orange for the names, but if you decide to do this product, you can either keep it matching or pick whatever colors you want. Um, so you can leave it here and it looks like a completed table, but we are not stopping here. This is the first part of a two-part video. Since this video was already getting long, I thought I'd cut it here and do the art in the next video. We are gonna be putting down an awesome painting in the slap dab middle of this table and I can't wait to show you guys. So please stay tuned next week for the second half of this video.